Good morning. It's Saturday, June 29th, and it's approximately 8.20 a.m. Um, I woke up, I kind of, I was admitted to the hospital, as you know. I woke up like every two hours. The bed is really comfortable, though. I think I just kept waking up because of the pain, and I was in an area I'm not familiar with. Um, I took Percocet every four hours. So, um, I just took one about maybe 45 minutes ago. So they say it's down top of it so the pain doesn't get too out of control. Um, I'm definitely in pain. It's difficult to breathe. Like when I inhale, exhale, that definitely hurts. I do this little blue machine that um, helps me with my breathing, prevents an ammonia from setting in. Um, a nurse came around 6.30 and gave me a bath. I can't shower until I get the bandage removed next Saturday. So she essentially takes this um, solution of soap and water in a spray bottle and sprays it on a towel and wipes me down um, which is nice I mean it's not a shower but it still gets me clean uh, my mom got me dressed a little while ago I'm up eating french toast and eggs they bought um, this is the room I stayed in last night thankfully my mom was able to stay with me um, I'm in pain a different level of pain than yesterday you know it's a different type of pain but still pain um, it's like a real soreness almost, like something's pressing on me. Um, you can see from here. Let me see if I can pull this. Um, you can see that they're starting to settle a little bit more. And over the next few days, they'll probably start to drop. Um, it's definitely a weird feeling to not be able to see my stomach. Um, I'm really happy with them. And yeah, over the next few days, they'll get better. I'm trying to gain mobility so I don't get, you know, locked up or anything. Uh, I should be leaving in the next hour or so. Just waiting for my discharge instructions and post-op. Let me show you the side. I actually have cleavage. So the next update will probably be me getting in the car. So, thanks. And one last view.